Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. Good idea. He'll put the fear of dog into them. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? <coughs> These Mabari hounds are supposed to be really intelligent, capable of, um... While they can't speak, they can understand people's speech. That's kind of creepy. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start picking you out a suitable husband. Well, if you saw the last episode, you probably wouldn't have, uh said that. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, sure. You're much prettier. Oh, you're too kind, is it? Is it warm in here? Stop bubbling, Mary. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. What's an Alluvian? Long ago, the elves had a kingdom. An empire that covered Thedas. And every city had an Alluvian. The mirrors let them communicate across their empire, but I don't know how exactly. My people have lost so much. We know almost nothing of the days before Arlathon. This is a piece of our history. This thing is what made the Keeper send you away, isn't it? The Keeper wanted me to destroy the fragment I kept. She said our ancestors meant it to be forgotten. But it's a keeper's place to remember. Even the dangerous things. We argued. I... left. She's wrong. This mirror could teach us so much about who we once were. Do you think the mirror had something to do with Tamlin's disappearance? The ruin we trapped Tamlin to was full of traps and monstrous things. But we found no body. His trail ended at the broken pieces of Alluvion. I'm sure you wouldn't show something this dangerous to just anyone. It's not dangerous, I promise. I fixed it, or, or tried to, with blood magic. The mirror won't hurt anyone. But it doesn't work. I've tried everything, and I think it's because it needs to be finished with a special tool. And a rule in home. And my clan has one. It's been in their hands for generations. Go talk to the Keeper, then. I just can't. You have no idea, the Keeper. I, I can't talk to her. We fight or, or talk circles around each other. She has a disappointed frown that turns your bones to jelly. Please help me. You will, won't you? 
I'll go with you. Maseranus. I'll find some way to repay you, I promise. Well, it hurt people, but she fixed it with blood magic. That doesn't sound, you know, bad to me, I guess. Hunters. Stop right there! You are in possession of stolen property! Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I am not your slave! Okay. <laughs> Another thing that's gotten out of control. Let's do some killing. thought. Of course there is. They got the Magister, they all stopped. Oh, nope, not all of them. <laughs> I swear. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. Then let me go. I beg you. I swear. You chose I won't... the wrong master. <laughs> Adriana. I was a fool to think I was free. They'll never let me be. This is someone you know. My old master's apprentice. I remember her well. A sniveling social climber that would sell her own children if she thought it would please Daenerys. If she's here, it's at his bidding. I knew he wouldn't let this go. They're no longer a threat, Fenris. There will be more. If Hadriana's here, she won't stop. We need to find her. We'll send a message to Daenerys he won't soon forget. Lead the way. The holding caves held slaves in the old times, but apparently they are no longer abandoned. We must go quickly, before Hadriana has a chance to prepare, or flee. Nice work. I could do that later. I'm on a quest now. <laughs> Had to leave, then come back. That's screwy. Ugh, what the hell's going on here? Continue. 
continue harassing our hunting parties, Templar, and there will be consequences. Hand over Fainreal. You heathens have no idea of the danger an apostate poses. Elves were using magic when your primitive ancestors still lived like beasts. If you dare interrogate one of my hunters again... The Maker be my witness. I will bring Fainreal to the gallows. Hawk. You may want to leave before this gets messy. Are you actually planning to attack Templars? This Shem caught one of our Dalen hunters. She tortured the boy with fire while she interrogated him about Fainreal. That's nothing compared to what we'll do if you don't hand over the apostate. This is your last chance to leave and avoid bloodshed, Hawk. You'd torture and kill the Dalish for just one apostate? I don't care a jot about these knife ears, but Fainreal slipped through our fingers. No one escapes the Knight Commander. We would sooner die than turn him over to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Why can't these people just not be assholes? If Fainreal is that dangerous, let him stay with the Dalish. Why would I do that? Either he snaps and the Dalish kill him, or he escapes and you capture him without risking your men. You win either way. There is wisdom in that, I suppose. Very well. You Dalish have fun with Fainreal. Violence would not have helped my people, Maseranus. Oh, you know what? I should have just killed somebody. But whatever. Moving on. So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I thought all those men looked a bit cross. Hmm. No herd of Hala. I thought all Dalish clans had them. If you walk the paths of Sundaman. Keeper, you return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Arulan home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sula Varnan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulan home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. <laughs> Okay, do we gotta do this here or we can do this somewhere else? I don't freaking know. The Dalish are the cave must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise. Yeah. The Dalish are a bit of an unusual civilization, if you can call it that, in the Dragon Age universe. The Dalish are modeling themselves. Uh, what had happened, it's sort of like not exactly known in the history of this series exactly what 
happened in the past. Alright, it's been a few days since I recorded the first part of this episode, so forgive me if I sort of stumble over it a little bit. But I think I was talking about how history in this world of Dragon Age is sort of similar to what history is in the real world, in the sense that it is not like a cut-and-dry thing, this is what we know, this is what we understand about history, all that kind of crap. History has to be interpreted. There are lots of different people with lots of different perspectives of history, and you have to sort of read between the lines and, and read multiple accounts of it in order to try to figure out what had actually occurred in the past. So, well, alright. What were the hunters doing in here? The Keeper would have sent them to recover elven artifacts from the Vartero before the camp had to move in again. So your Keeper sent them to their deaths? No. Normally they let the Dalish come and go as we please. Something must have provoked it. So applying that whole idea that history isn't as obvious to the whole elven culture, you see some interesting arguments emerge. One comes from the fact that the elves see themselves, especially the Dalish elves, see a certain... have a certain perspective of the history of relationships between... the relations between humans and the elves as being a little bit... Uh, different the way everyone else remembers history. The elves believe that they were immortal at one point. Elves were born but never died. And it wasn't until humans came to the land of Thetis that that went and changed them. Why did this happen? Oh, Harshal, I am so sorry. I'll tell Inuria for you. The humans brought diseases which changed the elves from being immortal to people who would succumb to death at some point. Now, obviously the, uh, the humans don't see it this way, that the elves are probably just, oh shit. And of course no conquering uh, civilization wants to paint themselves in sort of a negative picture as far as history goes. So you'd expect, even if the elvish stories were true, that the humans wouldn't necessarily admit to it. Some things we can say are almost definitely true, though. One is that humans are not, like, indigenous to, to Thetis. They come from some other land far away. They came to Thetis at some point after the elves, as well as after the dwarves. The dwarves were already there during the time of the elves, but they didn't really interact much because, you know, dwarves love their underground and elves, I imagine, don't. So you get these two perspectives of history. Hold on. Um. Jandan, tread carefully, Letheline. May the trickster never find you in the beyond. We should give their clan amulets to the Keeper. Their families should know that they died bravely. What we do know was after the humans had come, they had eventually... Ah, oh, hold on. <laughs> Whoever's hiding had better come out. Unless you're a dragon, then feel free to keep hiding. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Meryl couldn't hurt you if she tried. At worst, she might make frowny faces. She'll do worse than hurt me. Don't you know what she is? 
Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him, hurry! Jeez, is he like, uh... Part of the Maker's religion, or is he a De La Shelf? He's not, doesn't have... Ah, never mind. The humans came, and they're eventually they... Ah, damn it. We're coming. The hell is that thing? Okay, we're probably surrounded. Merrill's running in that direction. So is the dog. Come here, you bastard. surrounded here. Just micromanaging here. this again. Almost got it. not too late. Maybe we can get him to the Keeper. She can heal almost anything. He's dead. There's nothing a healer can do now. <laughs> Why did you run? You shouldn't have run. What did 
you do to scare this man to death? Creators. I don't know. Do you need a minute alone? No. Thank you. I... We have too much to do for me to sit here bawling. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the dinner room and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... Something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. Got rivalry out of Mero. Probably because I asked a question, what did he, what'd you do? Mero is probably... It probably has something to do with the fact that she practices blood magic and all that stuff. After the humans went and they made colonies and all that kind of stuff in Thetis, it sort of, well, they eventually ended up conquering. thinking? He acted like I was a monster. You are a monster. Oh, great. <laughs> the humans conquered the elves, but after the, um... I think it was after the rise of the religion of the Maker that the elves were essentially, like, they were enslaved before, but then they were sort of set free and sort of given a, uh, in a territory that they could call their own. Now it's another one of those things where history isn't quite so obvious as to what happened next, but what seems to have happened was that they started, um, what they went and did was attempted to sort of reclaim some semblance of their lives that they had before. Now, these, this was a thousand years later or something like that. So they really didn't know what their civilization was like before the arrival of the humans anymore. But they tried their best, and they reconstructed their pantheon of gods and all that kind of stuff from what they could understand. Everyone looked at me in the camp when we arrived. What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the Blight. They tried to reconstruct their religion and all that kind of stuff, for better or for worse. And then, after a... I've never heard the clan. They had no reason to be afraid of None of this makes any sense. After they, there was a war again. One of those exalted marches they keep talking about. Possibly started by the elves in this case. And then, uh... The elves from the Dales were conquered again. And enslaved again. Now this, uh... Not all of them were recaptured, not all of them were enslaved. A lot of the elves were sort of managed to escape. And now, like another thousand years later, or however long it was, we have the Dalish elves, which were people who are modeling their society as best they can off of another extinct civilization, the elves of the Dale. So, the Dalish elves, although probably a reasonable thing to say that that is a closer approximation to what elves lived like prior to the arrival of humans. Uh, they probably got a whole lot of stuff wrong. When it comes to not just their society, but their religion and all that kind of stuff. Wow, these things just keep spawning in. What is this shit about? I was not paying attention to this fight. These things should have a much bigger threat than I thought. Dear Merrick, please learn to parry. Love your innards. Ouch.
Now, Merrill, I mean, the Dalish don't like human civilization, and they don't like elves that choose to live in human civilization. So, Merrill probably earned some hate. I don't live in the alien age. Don't you care about the plight of our people? Not even a little bit. I don't need to visit the alienage to know what they suffer. I know it better than you. I've lived there for years. I see it firsthand. And I lived it. The Dalish don't really like elves that choose to live with humans in the cities and all that kind of stuff. So, when she chose to do that, she probably earned a little bit of, of hatred from, or distrust at least, from the other Dalish elves. But that probably wouldn't explain the, what's his name, running away like that to the point where he got himself killed. It's possible that um, her blood magic and all that kind of stuff scares them. But the elves aren't so squeamish about magic that the human as humans are, so. Well, I guess we're going to find out here, huh? The Vartarol is dead. Maseranus. I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vatterol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Merrill won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. Is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you? You know what it's like to lose everything, Hawk. Not just our land and freedom, but history, stories, language, magic, rituals. Even our gods are gone. It is a sacrifice, but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past, it's worth it. What did the Keeper mean? The mirror led you to blood magic. I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. Neither have I. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. That at least seems to be true. Blood magic does not seem to have the inherent evil qualities that a lot of people seem to associate with it. But, it still is something that can be considered dangerous, like all forms of magic. Now, if, uh, our Meryl is trying to do something you have to consider admirable. She is trying to sort of, in a way, do what she can, reconstruct the history or the lost culture of the elves back before the humans arrived. Because the Alluvian is not a Dalish artifact, the thing is from before then, before humans arrived. Now, the other elves are afraid of it, because in their stories about what happened, there is a lot of evil stuff that went on as a result of all of this old elven magic. Their gods killed each other, they did all this and that and that kind of stuff. So you have to look at this and think, maybe this is dangerous, but 
you know, it, it's also sort of like burying your head in the sand and trying to avoid something that you don't necessarily understand. So I'm going to give it to her, even if that's going to piss off Fenris. Don't lose that knife. I get the feeling the Keeper is as good at wielding guilt as my mother. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. Got five rivalry out of Fenris. Let's take a look at where we're standing with these people. Eh, I'm still a little on the friend side. And more on that. Um, it's not strictly necessary for you to just try to friendly everybody to death. Your characters don't need to be your best friends in order to function at their best. They could actually be heated rivals and just despise you. But that doesn't, uh, it's not like a, a lot of these traditional games uh, in this genre where you just need everybody to be loyal, like the, the stupid Mass Effect loyalty missions. Everybody raves about, by the way, even though they don't seem to understand it as the simplest damn mechanic you could ever see in a game. It's not groundbreaking, or it wasn't at the time, but whatever, I'm going off topic. You don't need to have everybody be your best friend. You can just sort of, uh, you could have them either be your best friend or be your rival. Either way works. You just don't want them to be somewhere in the middle and indifferent to you. 